everyone, how's it going? Now, after our contest to see what I should turn into a Godzilla Titan, the results were overwhelming in the favor of the Axolotl. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn an Axolotl into a Godzilla Titan. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to begin with our Axolotl Titan, let's start with the eyes. I'm going to start right up here and we're going to begin by making a little line that's just going to come down. We're going to go up and then back. Then we'll make another one right here. Starting here, we're going to do that same thing. We're just going to go down. We're going to come up and then go back. Then we'll just draw a line that curves down for the eye. I want to kind of keep the eyes far apart because their eyes are pretty far apart on their face. Starting here, let's make a little line that curves down on each side for their nostrils of their nose. And then we'll kind of bring these lines in just a little bit. I'm going to add a couple little lines right underneath the eyes. Now starting here, I'm going to make lines going to go up. We're going to come down and up, and then we're going to bring it back over here. I'm going to kind of curve this up, and I'm going to curve this one up a little bit. Next, I'm going to go down and then bring this back up. I want to give our axolotl a row of very sharp teeth in here. So we're going to give them a row of sharp teeth. And then same thing down here. We'll draw a little bit of a wavy line down here for the tongue. I'm going to make a line that's going to come out and in, and then one's going to come out and in over here. Make this curve around on each side. Then we're going to come up and then down. We'll also make a little line that goes up and down above each eye. Next, we're going to make lines going to come down, and then we're going to come right up here. I'm going to add a little bit of an extra line or two underneath here for some details. Now, I want to make those kind of long gills that they have kind of sticking out of here. So I'm going to begin right here, and I'm just going to make a long line that's going to come out. We're going to go down and bring it back. Kept it pretty skinny out here, then I made it get a little bit bigger as it came back. We'll do another one here. Do that same thing as it comes back. And one more right at the top here. We'll just continue it on this side. I'm going to make them go in the kind of the opposite direction. Make this one have a little bit more of a curve in it. And kind of same thing with this one. Next, we're just going to make some kind of wavy lines right along the edge here. I'm making these almost kind of look like a bit of like a flame on here. Just try to add something a little bit more unique and different. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this to each one, this kind of big wavy, pointy kind of flame look. Now once we have that, I want to start working on the body. So let's begin with the neck. I'm going to begin by drawing some long kind of broken lines that are going to come right down here just to kind of make the neck of our axolotl and I want it to kind of look like he's got some curves in there and a little bit of texture. Starting here, I want to make a line that's going to come down and in, and then another one's going to come up. So 
Starting here, we're going to add a couple little lines that are going to come down. I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and down. We're going to angle this down. And we'll make another line that's going to come down here. We're going to bring this down. And then I'm going to make some lines that are going to come down here and then up. Make another one that's going to come down and up. And then one more that's going to come down and then up here. Starting here, I'm going to make this line come down. We'll do another one here. This one's going to come out here to a point and then back. Do another one here. One more here. And then a smaller one here. I'll bring this back and then up here. Make a little line down here for the chest. And I'm going to bring this arm over towards the chest. Next, I'm going to make some kind of curved, wavy lines on here, just to make it look like the body's kind of bent a little bit. I want to make lines going to come up here, and then it's going to come down. We'll add a couple little curved lines here. I want to make lines going to come down and then back. Another one's going to come down and back here. I'm going to bring this line up here. A couple little curves on it, and then we're going to bring it back. Starting here, I'm going to make this leg look like it's kind of kicked out. So I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and up. And then we'll curve it up with a couple little lines. Make a line that's going to come down and up. Another one down and up, and then one more. It's going to come down and up, and then it's going to come back here. I'm going to bring this line right towards here. Now we want to make their big tail. So I'm going to start right back here, and I'm going to make a long line that's going to curve up, and then another one that's going to come down. Make a line that's going to come down, bring it to here, and then we're going to add a line that's going to curve in. Now, right along here, I'm going to make some lines that are going to come down, and then they're going to curve back to like some points, just to make it kind of match a little bit more of like the gills. We'll do that same thing here, just kind of add these little kind of pointed, curvy lines. And now we have our basic shape of our axolotl titan. Now what we want to do is we want to come in here and add some different details. So let's start with the claws. I'm going to make the claws kind of small on here. And we're just going to make them kind of tiny, like he's got a little bit more of like small, sharper claws. But then we're still going to add some little curved lines around here just to really make it look like they're sitting in there, like there's some texture and whatnot on there. Add a couple little lines on here. We're going to make some little kind of broken lines around here. We'll make the claws on the toes just a little bit longer. Just to make it kind of break it up a little bit, give a little bit different details and everything. I'm going to put some kind of broken little curved lines right around here where the knee might be. I'm going to bring some of these lines up a little bit too. Put a little bit of some broken lines and some more curved lines over here. A couple little lines over here too. A couple of lines on the head. Even some right around the mouth too. I 
We'll add some details on the fingers. And some on the feet as well. And we'll make some kind of long, curvy lines right up here. And we'll do the same thing kind of along the tail. And I'm going to put these kind of little broken lines right around here just to give it a little bit more of like detail and dimension. And then kind of right along the back, I'm going to add some little kind of spike shapes on here. I'm not going to put them all the way down the tail, just along the back to give it a little bit more detail, kind of break it up a little bit, add something new. And there you go, here is your drawing of an Axolotl Godzilla Titan. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.